going to be a little bit problematic here for side of Avangard to take and keep that control. Neo finds himself kickered, but there's Buster to react with only 19 HP left, though. In a problematic situation where Amichu comes through and burns down just a little. 36 HP left onto him. Krizen has to check multiple angles. Amichu is there to take him down, though. Demusik with the FAMAS successful onto one, but not on many more. Murders probably don't really have the time and don't really have that mentality to squat in the corner and be scared about what it's Evangar about to do. As we see continuously, they're not bringing us what they actually want to. Kicker finds himself one, a jumping patch of biceps. As he wants to come down, but is not successful enough. But now, man, advantage. Possibility. Take the round number two. Neo, Michu, and Bialy are looking good HP-wise. There's no reason to be scared or no reason to be worried. As we're seeing it. Amagar have to think twice if they're really taking this aggression. Neo is nearly burning away, and there he gets the wall bank by Buster. That retake has to work, but there's no smoke on either of the Avangar players, which means that Buster has to need some big balls to make it possible. Jame onto one, and there's a second one to come, possibly. Does he get himself meet you that the fuse doesn't work? Buster, you have to do it. You have to pull through. Does he have time this time? Nope. It could have worked out if I'm not totally wrong. It's still working. If they're still the team they used to be, but either way. That's not what we're about right now. First of all, we need to see Buster oh, not finding himself the shots he was looking for. Neo gets himself that one. Kicker. Akin Apartments doesn't look as sharp as he used to be. There's the one for Akin Pasha. Team sick taken out by Mihu in the end. And Krizen is still alive. So you gotta be cautious. As Jane, though, can't jump around the entire section of the B site to find himself a pillar to hide behind. Krizen on his own as he needs to find free, and at that point in time, there should be no way in this world that Krizen wins that, and that isn't the case. Well, just more and more difficult. Team Sick down to 18 HP as he suddenly has a bit of a problem with the Molotov coming towards him. Passion now needs to rotate over. Mihu is the only individual. As he's taken out, only Papa himself. No chance. The P250 closes the case. As we're having it, first player to be taken out, that's Krizen. No chance to stay alive in that one, Demasic. Let's just stay back at it. Only four players have having Goro alive, and the main focus shifts over to the B site. Regime, at the moment, is alone with his teammate, Kicker. Ivy still held by Buster. The A site partially by Demasic, but it's all focusing down on the B site. Kicker's fully blind, doesn't see a thing, might lose his head fairly soon. Jane finds himself one onto Bialy. And that one IV player so far, Snacks, isn't doing too much at it. Demasic finds himself Mihu as well. Snacks don't need to be fast to finally be a good supporter in this. That's the bomb has been planted, one after another falls down, and certainly. Snacks' patience is relevant right here. Because if he can just now take him out one bit by bit, that works. He finds himself the first into Jane, but there on the top, it gets a little bit problematic right here. Snacks is the only individual alive. Can he clutch it out? That is the case. Snacks with a triple. Though so Snacks finds a too aggressive prison. Same goes for Bialy getting Dima sick. At that point in time. See Snacks also finding Buster. So at that point in time, we're surely, and pretty surely, going to have ourselves a 2-0. The classic first three rounds should be on the board for VP. As Kicker falls. As he falls, he breaks his ankle and falls on his face there in the end. Kazakhstan Circus has arrived. They're doing the classic pyramid. And as they're fully blind, that doesn't seem to work out in the end. The pyramid falls, the ground structures and pillars. They started to get crumbling and shaky. Round number two, Jane. I have the right angle on this, and he should be quite exposed right now at that point. Jane falls. Snacks is not to be stopped on a site. 10 HP he has left, but it's not enough. Take him down in the end. Our stopping element here could be Krizen. As we say it, though, Bialy finds him in the end, as at that point it looked like there could have been the opportunity. 
somehow need to do the job. And as it is the case, Mihu gained a good bunch of control. Kicker is taken out. So the B site that should be taken fairly soon. As we're talking about, don't. Damn, with a beautiful shot out to meet you. Gets another one onto the body of Bialy, making the situation a little bit tricky for Virtus Pro. Bialy have. Not the right kind of positioning to keep on surviving with the flames coming towards him. Demasic is able to get Bialy, and there the AWP from Papa himself needs to do it. There's no kit onto Demasic, and I'm quite sure he saw the bit off the body there. And there they go. Pasha himself to somehow prevail as a unit. There. Pasha sees the hand, shoots it into Crescent. There, Dima's sick. It's taken out in the end. Bialy finds himself another one there onto Kicker, and he quickly just not stop there. That is the one versus one. Surprisingly, Mihu and only Buster are still alive. As it looked like it could have been hella different there, Buster now needs to read this right, because he's staying back on the side of A. He got himself a kit, so the last second defuse is not too much of a problem for him, though. But Mihu has a good bunch of opportunities right now. To walk around the entire B site and find his favorite sweet spot. He has a Molotov, whilst Buster doesn't have a smoke. Make a retake more difficult 101. That's train B site. Buster with 58 HP. His initial situation is definitely not the best. The Molotov drops a little early there from Mihu. Buster thinks twice. And he rather keeps that gun in his hands instead of taking the aggression. Murder's Pro's getting from something like this is just insane. Snacks finding Krizen right now. Too aggressive a buster is. And suddenly it's down to a free versus free. The entry was once more there for Avangar, but every time they get themselves the entry, they can't really make it work. Some Demasic, Kickert, and James somehow cleaning this up. And that is Kickert finding himself the first onto Neo. Pash is there onto Demasic. That means an AWP as well as an M4 somehow need to seal that deal in round number seven to finally get the first one on the board. For James as well as Kicker. A tiny angle Pasha looks and a tiny angle he finds himself. Kicker, James rotating eating away as opportunity to flank the players when they're not expecting it. Kicker finds himself Neo and there we have it. Snacks with a very good positioning. Opening up doors right here for the team. Snacks onto not only one, he could get himself another one as well with Kicker as a single body shot could really out on the player. He's still on the ladder wiggling around. But as it is only down to Kicker, he finds himself Snacks. 5 HP, and then you can use the AWP wisely. Pasha finished it off together with me, who is pro in the same way. Lots of haven't guarded. It's taking control over and over again. Just having the upper hand continuously with a little bit of stuttering there. The engine, the Polish powerhouse, the found by Neo, but still he does, he's done his job fairly well. The smoke wall allows Neo to get that bomb down. A quite open spot. And then we got all approaching from one site. No one coming in from towards Pop Doc. So Neo and Pasha both have a good opportunity in taking this home. Neo doesn't see a thing, can still hide himself behind that wagon as Aaron Crizen comes close. Pasha finds himself the collateral! That is Crizen and Demasic taken out in the most unfortunate situation it could be. That's Pasha clean it! Pasha cleans it! And Pasha is not to be stopped during this first half. As he now finds himself, Chris and Bialy is there to save his teammates. It is. He's just tapping away Buster casually. So it's only two more aggressors alive. I'm swan. Jamie is not sure where to put his Glock shots at. I still meet you. At the 88. Oh, and Neo rips off that of Kicker. Only Jame alive. Bialy, Mihu, and Neo are not interested in giving him any more space to the Russian player. As he hides and squats in the corner, scared that his head will be plucked off. Time pressure problem coming at them. There comes the first. Snacks hits it onto Chris and Snacks hits it onto Kicker. And Snacks could just finish it off there with the pistol as well. He does pick up the triple. As that is the perfect situation now. It's a beautiful shot to do, but Mihu 
Extend to the man advantage. Now over to Virtus Pro while the flames are on the feet of Kicker. He hits himself. A nice one onto Pasha. But can't do it there onto Neo in the end. There's no stopping right now. With the defender off electric. But Buster on his own can be the only one who holds off that match point. There we go. 15 free. Doesn't seem to be expected at the moment. As Neodo comes around the corner and then rips his head off. Evangar. TikTok it is. And that TikTok gets faster and faster and faster. Rioli finding himself. Kicker. James has to make the move. James gets taken out. Crizen with a scout. And probably not too much success we can expect at that point in time as there is 25 more seconds left. And the Polish basketball player Snacks is ruling it out. 16 to 3 on map number 2. 1 to 1 it is. We're going into our third map in a second.